Just days after he was attacked during a live-streamed sermon, Bishop Ma Mari Emmanuel reassured his followers. I'm doing fine, uh, recovering very quickly, we thank the Lord Jesus, so there is no, no need to be worried or concerned. The bishop also had a message for the teenage boy allegedly responsible for the terrorist act. I forgive whoever has done this act and I say to him, you're my son, I love you and I will always pray for you. The 16-year-old who allegedly stabbed the bishop and Father Isaac Royale in front of horrified parishioners on Monday night also remains in hospital. When the doctors clear him, we will be able to talk to him. Until then, he remains a patient in hospital. Police have charged one of the people they allege participated in the riot that erupted after the church attack. 19-year-old Danny Mansour has been granted bail under strict conditions after being charged with rioting and destroying or damaging property during public disorder. Take a seat. But police are still looking for dozens more who assaulted officers and damaged patrol cars. They say many disguised their faces for the cameras. One individual has a very distinctive tattoo on his torso of a face while he has cowardly covered his own face. The commissioner says counter-terrorism police are working hard behind the scenes as they try to determine what led to this, while community leaders report a rise in Islamophobia since Monday's attack, and authorities will be on high alert during weekly Friday prayers tomorrow. Leah Harris, ABC News, Sydney.